And no hard feelings, right? Teamwork is important, Bomb. The match is not just for your personal glory, Bomb. If you want to win, you need to know how Bomb, your partner, fights. Grack, cleft ward, mitts, mustache is strong. Alright, next fight. Bring me to the major leagues. Well, dog my cats, if it ain't the great Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? <laughs> Ooh, wee, you're gonna love this. Your next opponent is. Rank 10 in the Glitz Pit, the Iron Adonis Twins. That's right, you're darn tootin', you're finally gonna make a go at the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't go uh, letting us down now. Now listen, son, in this battle, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. The crowd loves a tag team, and they want to see your partner show their stuff, too. Now get in there and put your partner to work. What if I want to put in the work? Oh, Gumbella, you alright? <laughs> Gonzalez, match time, follow me, bub. Of course. Let's let's do this. <laughs> and now, today's main event, the Major League awaits the 11th ranked great Gonzalez! But only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins! First, let's get the merciless executioner in here, folks! The Great Gonzalez! Gonzalez, kick their iron tails! Don't you dare lose, dude! That. Don't. Look, it's a mustache. Hooey! The Great Gonzalez, how are you feeling? Like a doof! Whoa, Nelly! You heard the fella, folks? He's obviously itching to mix it up some! Oh, they look tough. Good gravy! Iron them out! Whoa, are spikes legal? <laughs> Your challenger's real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Iron Adonis twins, he said more like paper dog face bros, and they stink. And then he said, I bet they're just play video games and cry when they lose. Uh, yeah, and he said, uh, Audi belly buttons ruin or run in their family, stinkwads. And so on. Yep. What? How does he know mom has an outie that jerk? We're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink ya! Oh, and one more thing. Only smelly stinkwads call other people stinkwads, understand? Stinkwad! Simmer down there, bro, you stinkwad. You're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these bods, solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time you have left with a functional brain. Get yourselves ready to battle! Okay, how defended are these guys? We're gonna do it. We're gonna make the Major League if we win. Get psyched, Mario. <laughs> Give up now. Little stink lords, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. Alright, let's knowledge is power. That's an iron cleft. Uh, that guy is scary, period. XHP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is unknown? What's with this book? It says no attack will work against iron clefts? Um. 
It says nothing in the world is as hot as an iron cleft, so its defense is impenetrable? That's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. Yeah, literally nothing. Oi! Maybe we need to do like a perfect guard. Could be. Defend, please. Well, let's learn about the other one, I guess. It's an iron cliff. The green shoes mean this one must be the younger brother. Max HP is six, attack is four, and defense is unknown? What's with this book? It says no attack will work against iron cliffs. It says nothing in the world is as hard as an iron cliff, so its defense is impenetrable. That's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. So their bodies are indestructible, but their spikes can pierce anything. Reminds me of a Japanese legend. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, or, or the phrase of like, uh... What would win, and... Uh, oh, what's the, f the thing? A, uh, something, an indestructible force or an immovable, or a, an unstoppable force or an immovable object. Ooh, thanks. Maybe we could, like, supercharge my... Oh, okay. And my attack power is up by three now. Still nothing. Um... Yeah, give Mario some mushrooms. Okay, maybe we can do like a special move or something that'll do it. I don't know. Do we actually want to run away? We got ourselves a winner! The Iron Adonis Twins! <laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. You want another piece of pummel pie? Have a bath and come on back, punk. Hmm. Is your fight money of one coin, Mr. Gonzalez? Your rank will remain at 11 because you lost the match. And if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hmm. Man, the Iron Adonis Twins is right. We can't beat them like this. What should we do? Hey, tough luck, mister. Hey, maybe walking around uh, Glitzville will cheer you up. I heard the hot dog stand has a new menu item that uses a mystic egg from some southern island. Um, I, mean, I guess we could maybe go out on the town. Hmm. We need some way to deal damage that is undealable. Hey, tough luck, mister. That's Sir Swoop, he just got on board here. Hey, now he's the newbie. You definitely notice how quick the turn around is when new people come and... Yeah. You're not laughing at my loss, are you? 
Ha! <laughs> Cleft Ward moves most of us strong. Okay, good, you aren't. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's tough. Seems like we were, like, maybe supposed to lose that fight? I don't know. Hi, Gonzales. How are you? After my son saw you fight, he's become a big fan. Looks like our trip here wasn't a complete loss after all. Huh, thanks, Gonzales. This guy's here with his son. I can't tell if he's psyched or just, uh, but anyways. So I see him spending time with his kid. This kid is still small, but he likes... Okay. Hey, it's a great mustache! You're a fam famous fighter, huh? Are you, uh, Prince Mushpals? Not quite. Let's, like, look at the standings. Obviously, we're trying to get up to Rockhawk. Hmm. The Iron Adonis Twins. Wings of Night. Ooh, that's, that's nice. Hey, Goombella should be one of the people pictured as a member. She's with me on every fight. What the heck? Hmm. No, stop that at once. This behavior is unacceptable in a food stuff. I insist you desist. Um. No, please, come back to me. Someone help. My rare imported egg has escaped. Please catch it. What the heck? What do you make of this little bomb, dude? Oh, so unfair. This stinks. I really, really wanted to eat that super whatever dog. What else can I get? Daddy, get me one! Oh, well. Hit him to the hammer! It's on the roof. Absolutely unacceptable in a polite society! And since you come down at one sec, how am I to reach you up there? Fly like a common sparrow? The egg has ellipses. It's it's sleeping. Hmm, how are we getting up there, Gumbella? What do you think? That's a tough one. Hey, look at two, could you help me? And they said the sun hides without the clouds. His this sun does that too. Hey, hold it up. It's like here my air sickness. I'll be stuck here forever. I have to find a way. Hmm. Like, what do you make of this situation, sir? Absolutely unacceptable in polite society. And since you come down at one sec, how am I to reach you when you're up there? Fly like a common sparrow. Could we blow it down? It was worth a shot. Hmm. Oh, actually, we gotta use the airplane from before, don't we? Okay. Wondering what that was for. Yeah, because there's an airplane on the other side of town. Perfect landing. Gosh, what a color flag. Must be a good one, huh? I mean, you've seen a jump, so talented. But cheapers creepers, I sure wouldn't want to try to eat it. I mean, ew. I don't eat moving things. Let's hurry up, grab it, and give it back to Mr. Hoggle. We're cracking the egg. So their bodies are indestructible. Mm -hmm. Huh, did you hear that, Mario? You wanted to be eaten, little eggy-waggy. 
It's so adorable. What should we do, Mario? Should we help? Help the little guy or let there be hot dogs. Welcome, Bella. I'm hungry. Come on, Mario. That's just tasteless. Seriously. Don't scare the little guy. Try not to be so childish, will you? Mr. Hot Dog Stand Guy, it looks like this egg doesn't want to be eaten. It's okay to let it go, right? Oh, very well, fine. I suppose there's not much market for cuisine that jumps anyway. Awesome! Did you hear that, little Eggy Waggy? You're free, see you around. Huh? What is it now, Eggy? Want to follow us? Is that it? I'm pretty sure our little buddy here wants to hang out with us. Do we let it? No way! I'm not endangering a child! Seriously, Mario? I wonder about you sometimes. We're taking this egg, and that's that. Hey, I, I thought this was like Paper Mario, not Paper Goombella. <laughs> Who's in charge here? You hear that little eggy? Just make sure not to get in our way, okay? Well, uh, we now have an egg. Egg acquired. Surely this egg will be the secret to everything. Egg, you wouldn't happen to be able to, like, break steel with your bare hands, would you? Boy, Mark, I don't know. Those hardheads are serious. But hey, we gotta beat them. We just gotta. Let's keep challenging them. Oh, egg. What are you doing there? Oh, you, you comfortable there? Looks pretty comfortable. Okay, well, I guess let's go again. Let's do this. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then, your next one will be... Rank 10 in the Glitz Pit, the Iron Adonis Twins! Yeah, I can use a partner skill. Oh, where's the egg? Hey, uh, check it out, our little eggy friend is gone. Didn't see that coming. Or gone, for that matter. Where do you think it went? Yo! What the? It's like a little punk Yoshi. Gonzalez. Check me out. Thanks to you, I hatch safe and sound. Thanks, man. What? You were in that cute little eggy waggy? Oh, that's wild. Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want cr a crystal star? Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole, honest. Just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Let's see, I just came out of that egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up at it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? Okay, we got eight characters. To name the Yoshi. So... Let's just start set some ground rules. Um, it's Paper Mario. We, we, we're going to stick with the name convention that it's got to include like the name of the species and the name of the character. So you as a fellow human being, can there be no compromise here? I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Um, so, let's see. Ooh. So a lot of the common names here end up being uh, so like Goombella, right, is an example where it's a portmanteau of Goomba and Isabella. So if we could find a name that sort of fits that sort of paradigm, but with Yoshi. Uh, ooh, okay, let's see, let's think. So obviously you got to decide, are you doing the she, or are you doing like the Yosh? Uh... And there's probably some good, like, Japanese names if you do Yosh. 
I'm not Japanese though, so I don't really know most of that off the top of my head. Uh. Hmm. Yoshi. Yoshi. Hmm. Yoshan. No, that's terrible. Uh, it seems to be a male Yoshi too, I think, so... We'll probably stick with a male name. Uh... Okay, okay, I, I got one. I got one. Hmm. Yogurt, that's, that's not a bad one. Joey. Here, here's my idea, though. And chat, you can tell me if you think this is stupid, okay? Oh. Dang it. Uh... Let's go for... Yosh? Yoshua. Or, or you could pronounce it Yoshua. Yoshua the Yoshi. It's not bad. It is a chat. It's not bad. Or maybe you guys think it's awful. I don't know. I kind of like it. Obviously, it's a portmanteau of Yoshi and Joshua. I, I think this is pretty good. But does that mean that, like, if I look up this character on the wiki, there's, like, no canonical name for it? She's gonna be, like, the infant Yoshi from Paper Mario's A Thousand Year Door. That that's the character's official, like, name. Okay. Well, chat, speak now, forever hold your peace. If there's no objections, I think we're gonna go with Yoshua. Yoshi Kid is what it's called. Okay, okay. I assume this cannot be changed further. Uh, so this is this is a big decision. Thinking of any alternatives? I think Yoshua works pretty well. Alright, going once. Going twice. Sold to Yoshua. Is the name Yoshua okay? Huh, <laughs> Yoshua, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzales, let's get out there and do some damage. The Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Yashua. Oh, we're in Toadette's space. Yoshi's abilities, a primer. Press X to ride Yoshi. He'll move much faster while riding Yoshi. Try moving around with... Oh, that is pretty quick. And he's working hard. Good job, Yashua. While jumping, hold A to float through the air for a brief time. Use this ability to cross otherwise impossible gaps. I failed. There we go. You can stop riding Yoshi by pressing X. I mean, this seems like a pretty useful dude. That concludes this primer. Do you feel like you've mastered Yoshi's abilities? Yes. In battle, he can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pound move, or use gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. Fun fact, he can come in a variety of colors depending on how long he's an egg. You're saying I got like the boring one where he's been an egg for like no time at all? Gonzalo's much time following me, but... Like what, what colors are we talking? What am I missing out on here? And how long could even make him an egg? Like, is there... Uh, now I'm curious. <laughs> For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and... Larmored Harriers, yep, a fight to the finish with the Iron Adonis Twins. Green, red, blue, orange, pink, black, and white. Black's a favorite. Hmm. 
Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? Like, how long are we talking that you need to, like, have the egg around? So, are we talking, like, minutes, hours, days? These ultra hard bods just can't lose. Get yourselves ready to battle! Gonzales, let me at him. We're gonna take these punks this time. <laughs> Stinkwad's challenge gets again. He never learns. 20 minutes is maximum before it resets back to green. Hmm. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partner as if that's gonna help him. Use a partner move? Okay. Yashua. I believe in you. Gulp him. Press ZR and release when that lights up. Okay. Oh, wow. Yo, you spiked me right in the... That hurts. Iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us. No fair. Oh, dying bro. He, he discovered our weak points. I guess I'll just, uh... Go for a little, uh, appeal. Ooh. Is that a long time? You can basically pick if you're willing to wait. Hmm. Interesting. Let's swap, so Mario would be the one taking if we somehow miss this up. It's hammer time! Yashua, go! Nice. This is a cool feature that not everyone will know about because it's not obvious within a single playthrough. Mm. Oh, do I have to go back to the minor league now, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Great Gonzalez! With this win, you made the major league. Now that, folks, was what I call a wild and woolly fight. A diggity dang doozy. And they're out here predicting Yoshi's Woolly World a whole, like, 10, 15 years before it happened. Crazy. Keep it up, kid. You're going places, I can tell. Hooey! Come on, folks, give it up. We got a new Major Leaguer. Let's hear it for him. Here's your fight money of 14 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. And Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Grubba wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Prepared to treat me like an actual like, human being now? Mr. Grubb, I have brought Mr. Gonzalez as you requested. M uh, Miss Jolene, uh, you mind your manners now. We knock around here, Missy. Apologies, Mr. Grubb. Don't you worry your uh, pretty little head about it, none. Now, what did I want again? Something about Gonzalez? Oh, yeah! Gonzalez, you old so-and-so. Let me congratulate you, son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and dang, I loved when I'm right. You just keep on putting tushes in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special something-something for you. Go on, take it. Ooh, money. 30 coins, thanks! 
So yeah, something else that's been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. No big deal, son, but hey, someday if you become a champ, uh, I'll get you a new one. Something hot pink, maybe, with some frills or something. You look a sight, son. Anyway, that's something for another day, Bard. Uh, take a powder, okay? Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me, if you would. It's not too late to make hot dogs, I guess. Are you saying we should eat our Yoshi? What the heck? We do not eat Yashua. That's barbaric. This is the Major League Locker Room. You will use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the Mining League, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? But if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. Well, hello there, folks. I'm noticing a lot of spikes around here. What's the deal? Would it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh. Um. The star's right there. Studly guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you've with the bill. Skinny, a mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you. Ha ha ha. What a waste of... What a waste of time. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Oh, oh the champion's belt. Oh, no, hey, you, get too close to the hawk and you might get rocked. Not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake. Hey, you think you can just smack talk the rock, Hawk? I don't think so. Got some guts calling my belt a fake. Your shrimpy no belt having wimps. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Oh, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock. So I wonder if he's based off the rock. Like, is that the right time period for that? Oh, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? Well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? If that dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it, then where the heck is the real one at? Gonzalez, is that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get emailed from? If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions from X. Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he help us out, though? This whole deal seems kind of we whack. Gonzalez, even if the belt's a fake, I think we should try to take the championship anyway. It's the best way to find out what's really going on in the Glitz pits. Good thought, though. He's more so based on Hulk Hogan. Mm. Fair enough. Um. Hold on. I actually want to check my, uh. Yeah, I've got an unread email from Professor Frankly. <laughs> Hello, Mario. Still working hard. Professor Frankly here in E form again. There's something I forgot to tell you. I recommend that you look into obtaining a certain badge. It's called First Attack. If you have that badge equipped, you can take care of weak foes with a first strike instead of fully battling it out. The badge shop in Rogueport has it available for purchase. You can get there by exiting the second floor of the inn, so stop reading this and go get yourself a First Attack badge. 
I guess I'll have to look into that when I get back to Rogueport. Let's have a little rest, see?